To save time when setting up Sage 1, you may want to import your customers and suppliers from a file. This file must be a comma separated value, or .csv file. You can import your customer and supplier records from the Contacts tab, or from here in the Getting Started section. In this example, we will import our customer records. But if you wanted to import supplier records, the steps are the same, except instead of clicking the Create or Import Customers button, you would choose the Create or Import Suppliers button. Go to the Contacts menu and click on Customers. To import your customer records, click the drop down arrow next to the New Customer button and select Import Customers. To make sure your customer details are in the right format to import into Sage 1, click the link to download a CSV template file. Depending on your internet browser, the file will either open up automatically in Microsoft Excel or it will automatically save in your Downloads folder on your computer. If the file saves to your Downloads folder, browse to the folder and open the file. When you have opened the file, you can either manually enter the information for your customers into the relevant fields, or you can copy and paste the information from a file already on your computer. Once you have entered all the information necessary for your customers, click File, then Save As, and save the file under a recognisable name in a folder you can locate on your computer. Once you have saved the file, you will need to close it before trying to import it into Sage 1. For guidance on what fields are mandatory or what information you need to enter, please click the link to take you to our Help Center article. In Sage 1, click Choose File and browse to the folder where you saved the CSV file. When you have found the file, select it and click Open. If you are not transferring from Sage Instant or Sage 50 accounts, select Sage 1 Accounting from the drop down menu and click Upload. When the import has been successful, a message will appear telling you how many contacts you have imported. To complete the process, click OK. If for any reason the import fails, a message appears advising why it has failed. You should fix the errors, then try uploading the CSV file again. Once you have successfully imported your customers, you can complete the same process for your suppliers.